Michener spent most of the 1950s as a roving reporter throughout Asia. Some even called him the voice of Asia. So there was a great concern that he had actually given up the idea of becoming a novelist and was in turn becoming a journalist. However, Michener had not lost interest in writing novels. In fact, he was merely setting the stage for the next crucial step in his career. He chose to focus on Hawaii because of, it was always a crossroads of the Pacific. And even before he had become interested in race issues, and Hawaii was the perfect place to write about to address those issues. Michener also wanted to write an epic novel, one that would be read a hundred years after his death. He came up with a structure of telling the story of a place, so the, the place became a character in his novel for the first time. The opening chapter, which is uh, 15 to 20 pages of, uh, of text without character, without dialogue, without plot. It is strictly about the geologic beginnings of Hawaii. That was uh, a, a real gamble on, on Michener's part to put that in the novel and not hook the reader with character or plot from the beginning. It was almost saying to the critic and to the reader and to the publishing world, I am going to write the novel that I want to write. It's going to involve a great deal of journeying which you may not wish to participate in, but it is going to be the work that I write. In late 1959, Hawaii was released. Uh, Hawaii was phenomenally successful. It was the second highest grossing book of the year, both in 1959 and 1960. It's really the beginning of the, the large canvas novel, dealing with people who who come from vastly different backgrounds and who happen to settle in one land, work out their differences, and try to establish a civilization. This is essential mentioner that is being worked out in Hawaii. Thus with Hawaii, Michener had created a new genre in popular fiction, the epic historical novel. He received nearly unanimous acclaim from critics and had his first blockbuster hit. And once again, he had done it his own way.